say another reason to stop you is the tramp, the tramp traffic. Farming. I was just gonna say. Yeah, yeah. So, so okay. Uh, she knows she was in Atlanta when Scooby and Red all of them got incarcerated. So I'm I'm in Atlanta, right? I'm selling my DVD, Pampology, and uh, I'm selling to all the niggas in the street. So the niggas is actually taking my DVD and showing it to their hoes. You know, all them niggas got. You know, my DVD was required for because I was talking a lot of game. Cause mm -hmm. you know, I didn't know you go to jail for that shit back then. We was just I was giving up too much game. So you know, what I'm saying. Uh, 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 this police dude from Atlanta, his name was Red, he used to work for uh, 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 BMF. He was one of uh, Meech's uh, security guards, you know, so he was like one of them cool police officers. He really wasn't a no police, he was just a police in name, but he was putting things up on all kinds of shit. He said, say, man, Ken, man, you better, you know, chill out. They got your uh, movie, they got your DVD in court. You know what I'm saying? So I said, in court. He said, yeah. So, you know, that scared the shit out of me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, nah, I won't go back to the fans, man. These motherfuckers like, ain't watching me, right? And then, so, uh, so I, I, like I always tell people, you, you heard most of my interviews, I say I live my life like I'm on trial, right? And the reason why I always did that, because I always say, okay, well, if I go to court, they try to say I'm a pimp, and I'm not pimping, because I wasn't pimping at the time. Well, you know, here's proof. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can, I can defend myself in court on that. So that was one of the things that happened. So, you know, then I, I started speaking out against human trafficking and I started showing that human trafficking is not pimping. You know what I mean? Human trafficking, you can't force nobody into prostitution. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's got, and then they changed it to, you know, it ain't even forced no more. You can't even coerce them into prostitution. You know, you can't even live off the earnings of prostitution. All that stuff came into the, to the, to the, to the equation. And at that point, I was just totally out of it. You know, I was speaking down on it. I said, man, y'all get it, run for the border. I said, they're going to use y'all as pawns to incarcerate y'all because America's 5% of the world's uh, population, but 25% of the world's incarceration. You know, the drug era was gone, so they had to come. It was the pimp era, you know, pimp juice, you know what I'm saying, P-I-M-P, -P, you know, pimping all over the world. You know, all the rappers were screaming pimping. So, you know what I'm saying? Now, the government chasing that. You know, they ain't chasing, you know, Nino Brown and Scarface. Nigga had Scarface pictures and all that shit when we was coming up, right? The dope boys. So now the pimp niggas is the target. You know what I'm saying? And they got to have a target because they got to incarcerate these men because, you know, it's uh, a black people are 51% of the population and only we eligible at 6%. So think about this for a minute. Everything I just told you, think about this for one second. If we're only 6% eligible to go to prison, we're 51% of the, uh, the, the prison population, that means that we're the dominant target, right? Mm -hmm. So they target us and they give us guns and, you know, niggas ain't got no planes, niggas ain't got no trains, niggas ain't, them guns ain't just coming in, that dope coming from all the way from, that shit walking all the way from over the, across the water. You know, you can't put dope in water, that shit in milk. So, you know what I'm saying, the dope is coming across the water and jumping in uh, over here on Martin Luther King in, in, in St. Louis, you know what I'm saying, Me over there in uh, 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 East St. Louis, you know, over in Chicago. No, somebody bringing that shit over here. And... At the same time, they in Congress making laws, 85% law, you know, a trigger lot, you know what I'm saying, I mean, RICO law. Like, th Thug now would never expect the RICO law. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, I mean, I would never expect the RICO law, but that's what they do. They make laws while we sleep. You know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, and, and, they, and what they do, they study what we doing. Like, Pippin, you know, like I said, first thing was uh, underage girls, remember? Then it went to coercion, then it went to living off early, then it went to manipulation. So they enhanced the law as they went because they're looking and seeing what I niggas is doing. Yeah. So they look at that thug now, they look at all these young niggas, they say, okay, well, these niggas, they're making millions and millions of dollars, but they still affiliate with the gang. So the gangs is doing their thing, they out there still robbing and killing and carjacking and so on and so forth. So if we can tie all this in to one thing, we can hit them with the RICO Act. You know what I'm saying? And they won't be able to beat it because, you know what I'm saying? He's quote unquote the leader of S Y what is it? YSL. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, 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 so that's how. You know, you got to look at it. That's how. I, that's what made me quit. See, when the white folks change their laws, that's what I do. I change my motherfucking laws. You know what I mean? If they say you can't do this, I stop. My daddy told me, he said, son, if you can walk away, you can get away. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to walk away, man. Sometimes you get like, fuck that shit. Like these niggas is ill.